The hard life being a baby capybara, as you can see. Except that one. That guy's that guy's a go-getter. Someone promote him. Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So, as you can see, since our last episode, our capybaras have had some offspring. So, Mercedes over here has given birth to five children, including a, uh, oops, an albino capybara there. So, very cool. Um, I believe our other female is also due to have some babies very shortly. Yep. <laughs> so, she will be giving birth very shortly as well. So, we'll have lots of capybaras in this enclosure. But that's not what this episode's about. <laughs> we will be looking to expand to our next species that we will be wanting to uh, have in our zoo. And I'm just having a think about what we want to uh, what we want to have here. So let's have a look at our zoopedia, as always. And I'm just having a think about what I really like seeing at a zoo. And also what I expect to see sort of at the start of the zoo when you first walk in. Because you don't expect to walk in and see, you know, bears and, and tigers and lions and stuff, right? Generally expect to see something smaller. Meerkats. Yes. <laughs> Meerkats are like, honestly, like my favorite animal. <laughs> um, I love going to the zoo. I love seeing them and just sitting and watching them for ages. So let's have a look and see. Uh, what we need. So they need a fairly small enclosure and um, they also need fairly small boundaries as well. And if we have a look, 2 to 30. Decent. So we can have a very decent uh, sized enclosure where, for, you know, how many we're going to have. They also have alpha females rather than uh, alpha males. So that's cool matriarchal society. I don't think they have any. Okay, that's interesting. So they can share a habitat with Aardvark. I didn't realize that. I think we're going to get in and we will uh, start planning our next part of our zoo. And I think right here is probably a good, uh, you know, as good as place as any to get a nice little uh, meerkat enclosure down. So let's have a look and see what we've got. I think we might use partial glass and partial corrugated for this one. So for glass, we'll have sort of the, you know, bits that face guests and we'll have corrugated around the back. I might move these two. Probably just to next to our uh, vendors because we're going to have our uh, meerkat enclosure right up against the side there. How big are we going to have here? I don't know if we... Yeah, actually, that's probably all right, I think. Uh, but we won't go any further than that, I think. So we'll switch over to corrugated. Maybe pull that back to 15 or so. And we'll also get our angle snap on as well. And then we can uh, pull that back at 20, hopefully. Hopefully it'll fit at 20. Nice, and then we'll switch back to glass, uh, which apparently is obstructed. Don't know about that. Why would it be obstructed? Is it obstructed? Is it obstructed because of that bin, perhaps, that's in the way? Let's see if I can uh, get that moved. move it out of the way for the moment. I don't know why it would be obstructed, because it's like... Uh, Alright, well, maybe slightly move this one back, and we'll slightly move this one back and see if it will... Okay, so it'll work there. Perfect. Um, it needs to be, I believe, 1.2 meters high. Yep, so we will, uh... Reduce these all down to 1.2 meters. Okay. And 
and we'll get a gate in there as well. Why are you obstructed? Oh, it's because it's facing the wrong way. My bad. <laughs> okay. What else do we need for these meerkats of ours? Uh, they don't require any water. Um, so that's good. Okay, so let's get a bit of shelter down for them, first of all. And then we can probably just get them in there. So I think we'll just go with some, some pre sort of a uh, rebuilt hard shelter. Maybe just a small flat one, perhaps. Four by four by two. Okay, and let's get some meerkats from our uh, Animal trading. I don't think we have any stored. I don't think I've actually played this since Meerkats came out, to be honest. No. So we will get some Meerkats. Oh, not a lot, do we? Wow. I'm surprised, to be honest. Hmm, okay, so we'll have to buy some. That means we can't release these ones. So we'll probably just get... Female and a couple of males. Can we have multiple females? Yes, so we'll, we'll get one more female as well. Maybe. So we will get these ones into our new enclosure. No path to destination, of course. Uh, but that is fixed. ones released and we'll wait till they are uh, dropped off in the enclosure so we can uh, find out what we need to do to make them happy. I reckon a lot of sand we'll probably need and probably not that much grass either. All right our first couple of meerkats. Oh very nice very cute. Okay so what do you need to be happy? So yeah, terrain is terrible, so we will fix that. Yeah, so mostly soil and sand they need. Go with some coarse sand, I think. And they need a little bit of soil as well. This actually area, this area isn't that great for them actually. We probably could have gone um, another, you know, another one of those up, I guess, but it'll be okay for the moment. We just need to be careful if they're having lots of babies or anything like that. What the? Oh! <laughs> oh. Cute. I uh, might put a few sort of like little pumps and stuff in. Uh, we don't want paint. Oh well. They do like these little humps. I don't like all that grass though. We're going to get rid of that. Oh, 
Okay, what else? So we need some food and toy enrichment, and also, obviously, some actual food as well. a few burrows in that's pretty cool i guess they can use that in lieu of this hard shelter potentially but that's all we can fit with what we've got right now okay oh yes they do love to turn out mounds as well don't they so we'll get a few of those in And that's food enrichment for them as well, which is cool. Maybe a heater? Well, we'll have a look. They don't require one right now. And toys as well they need. Just got the sprinkler at the moment, so we need to research them a little bit more so we can find out what they like. <laughs> They're in their little mound or in their uh, cave. That's very cute. Okay, um, all right, so we will get a research center down then, because yeah, we'll need to start doing a bit of research so we can get some stuff for our meerkats. Who works in research centers? Pets? So we'll start researching the meerkats. Yeah, vets. Okay. So start that research happening and hopefully you can learn more about these lovable little animals. I'm just gonna see. If we can remove the hard shelter. I can't see any of the meerkats because they're uh well, well apparently where are they? Okay, they're all in the one burrow. <laughs> um Cool, so that counts as hard shelter. That's good. So that means we don't have to worry about that taking up room and we can have some other cool stuff there instead uh, we had accidentally put all of our toys and stuff in a group with um with our hard shelter so we'll need to replace those bamboo feeder over here as well. Oh, and they're up. <laughs> up to do a poo.
Uh, we might get a little bit of um, plant life in here. They don't require any, but I think it'll just look a little bit better if we do that. Okay, perfect. And that is about all the uh, <laughs> coverage they will um, accept. We, uh... Okay, I think we can probably start to get some education happening here. Um, let's just have a look at our donation box, see how they're going. So meerkats are attracting a lot of donations. I don't know if that's just because they're new or because they're cooler than capybaras, but personally I like both. But meerkats certainly are my favourite. So. Let's have a look. So education. Just having a look. Maybe we could have an animal talk here. Okay. Um, it sort of fits in there. <laughs> um, and we will get... Uh, we need an educator, I believe. Do they need any buildings or are they fine? Okay, so I think they're okay, so we'll get one hired. And um, yeah, they can start to uh, get some people educated. So, oh, we've got an inspector report, let's have a look. Cleanliness is fantastic, no education though. So we are already working on that, so thank you for your report, I do appreciate it. And um, people think our tickets are a little bit cheap. Yeah, they are pretty cheap, aren't they? Put it up to 10 bucks and five for a child. We do need a workshop as well. I can see that some of our uh, some of our fences are starting to become a little bit tatty and we don't want our animals to escape. Uh, probably not disastrous at the moment because uh, um, we've just got little, little cute animals. But yeah, you know, once we start getting large ones, yeah, that might not be the best idea. Uh, so we need a workshop for that. And uh, what do we need for? I don't really need quarantine, but we may as well get it in there. And we'll get um, some more screening. Perfect. And apparently some of our meerkats are having kids already. Where are some baby meerkats? I love baby meerkats. They're keeping an eye out. They're like, where are the babies? Unless that's the ones. No, there are males. They're, they're being good dads, I guess. What about you two? You're a female. Wait, hang on. Wait, where were the kids? Offspring imminent. I uh, apparently have no uh, comprehension skills or whatever. So let's just see how these cute meerkats look. Oh yes! All oh, the little babies! Oh! Oh, so cute. What the? What is going on there? Cute. Oh. Yes. Baby meerkats. So good. <laughs> well, there you go. We've got our nice little basic meerkat enclosure to go along with the capybara enclosure. So that's going to be about it for this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please 
give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description. You can also find links to my Discord should you wish to join the conversation as I'm always happy to have a chat. Also, consider having a look at the Buy Me A Coffee should you want to give something financial to the channel. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry, this is Planet 2. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.